Good morning, Green Light Today family. This is Kelly. Welcome back. Happy Monday. Bear with me. Um, this possibly may be the last vlog for a month, and I do have a lot to say, so it might be a long one. I will try and get it all in as quickly as possible. Um, first, I would like to share that um, my birthday is Tuesday, tomorrow, and every year when my birthday comes around, I like to reflect on the last year and go into the new one kind of with the idea of where have I come from, where do I want to go. So that's where I'm at there. Also, I just had a party for my daughter. Um, with all of her friends and I tell you it just it made my heart smile I really feel so blessed one that I was able to to give that to her I mean it was a pool party at our house nothing fancy but we had 26 girls and there was not one disagreement in five hours then we had three girls sleep over and not one argument not one disagreement to me that is just a huge success and my daughter was just so happy, just so happy all weekend long. To me, it just doesn't get any better than that. You know, just to see them so happy makes me so happy and reminds me that I'm doing a good job as a parent, as their mom. Um, but, uh, so getting back to going into another year, I am going to be 43 tomorrow, and uh, you know, I'm not one of those women who is ashamed of my age. I'm actually proud of it. I've earned every year, and I think I make 43 look damn good. And I don't mean that arrogantly. I mean that in the sense of I'm comfortable in my own skin. Far from perfect, but I am who I am. This is where I am today. And I think it's pretty damn good. So, it's funny, I had a conversation with Janie, I'm not sure if it was Thursday or Friday, and I was talking to her about the lessons that I'm learning. I am learning serious life lessons. The universe, God, it is talking to me loudly, and I'm listening. And. I really feel like I've grown so much just being a part of this channel and being able to watch and learn from you ladies. And I'm so different from who I was. I said to Janie when, in our conversation, the old me would have behaved this way. Look at how far I've come. I have been able to consciously make a choice of what my attitude is going to be and make a choice to be happy. I can choose to be angry, which a lot of people would be angry in the situation that I was in, but I didn't want to be there. I chose to find a way to be happy, to not take things personal when I could have easily taken them very personal to love my family and friends through difficult situations rather than take it personal when they're angry at me or um, my intentions may have been good but they perceived me so very different. Um, all I can do is come from a place of love which hasn't always been easy for me. And it was funny, I was processing things as I was talking to Janie. And I wish I jotted down the words that I said, but it was something to the effect of, as I spoke the words, my soul heard them. And it is as simple of as choosing making a conscious choice to be happy, 
making a conscious choice to come from a place of love. I said to her, I was able to do that in these certain situations. Now if I could just apply that to all these other areas in my life. And I'm starting to do that. You know, this Saturday, my contract for my job is up and I might be out on strike for a very long time. We're all, my whole family is under my insurance. I may be out of work, no medical insurance, and the old me would have lost sleep for weeks. The old me would have been totally stressing out, made myself sick, and it's out of my control. These things are out of my control. I belong to a large union. It is what it is. There are other people making these choices, and all I can do is give it up to God and know that I will be okay. And I do have the faith that one way or another, I will be okay. And it's really a comforting feeling. And yes, I've done the work to get here, but I also would not have gotten here without the support and encouragement and love of you ladies. Because up until I have become part of this, I don't know, it's just, it's, it's funny, you know, Trisha always says comments that you're not alone and every single time she does, it means something to me. And you know what? I know I'm not alone anymore. I'm not alone in this. I'm not alone in this life. I do have people that care. And they may not live in the same state. They may not live in the same town. But I'm still not alone. And I spent a very long time of my life feeling very alone. But I learned from those things. It's made me who I am. And it's made me the mom that I am. And my girls know that they're loved and they will never be alone. And also what I did learn too that I try and pass on to my girls is that when I have faith in God, you are never alone because you always have God to turn to. So with that, I am going to say goodbye and hopefully I didn't go on too long. Go green light your day. Go green light your week, guys. I hope you have a great month of August. I know I'm going to be doing a lot. Supposed to be doing a lot of traveling and a lot of fun things. Um, unfortunately, if I go out on strike, we're going to have to cancel my family vacation um, and maybe some other things too. But uh, either way, I'm going to figure out a way to have fun because it's a choice and I am bathing in the joy of life. And it's not always easy. Life is not always easy, but I don't know when my last day is, I just know that I'm going to live it to the best of my ability. And I'm <laughs> the expression, I'm gonna hold back from the expression I was gonna give. I'm gonna live it to its fullest and enjoy it and dance and sing and celebrate each day and celebrate me. And that's what I'm gonna to do tomorrow. Tomorrow, I am going to celebrate me. Have a great week, guys. Bye.